Wilson Rowe, a native of Tillman Island, Maryland, born here in 1927. Lived here for all of my life, with the exception of the three years that I was in the Navy. We're taking these pictures on Dogwood Harbor. This is a public harbor that was put in in the middle 1970s. And today I'm going to show you how to make a crab net the way they used to do it when I was a teenager many, many years ago. And the first thing we're going to do is fill the shuttle or the net needle with string. The string that I use is 50% cotton and 50% polyester, number 18. And I'm going to fill this shuttle. It takes about two, little over two shuttles to make a crab net. Now, I keep turning the shuttle in the direction that tightens the lay of the line. And if you twist it in your hand, you can see which way tightens it. Okay, so I want to keep, I'm gonna turn it in this direction as I fill it to keep tightening the twist that's in the string. Around between the two points, around the back end, and up, you push this down, and then you can get in between the two points. Okay, now I'm gonna continue this for a little while, just to make sure you know how it's done. Okay. A shuttle will hold a little over I think it's 50 feet of string, and it takes a little better than two shuttles to make a crab net for a 15 inch bow that is six mesh deep. And I'll show you what a mesh is after we get started. Okay, that's probably enough of this now. You know how to, uh, how to fill it. Now that you've got the shuttle full, I'm going to show you how to start. Take a ring, this is a quarter inch ring, inch and a half diameter. I'll make it out of copper ground wire. You pull two to two and a half feet through the ring and tie a clove hitch or a half hitch in it. It's a clove hitch, it's really two half hitches. Then I lock that with a half knot. just to keep everything tight and in place. Now there are two ways you can start. The main thing is to get this two foot, two and a half foot piece of string sticking out the other side. I hold the ring between my thumb and forefinger and with the shuttle come up through the ring, and go down through the loop. Pull it tight, hold it snug with my little finger then up through the ring again and down through the loop. That makes a clove hitch. Pull it tight and slide it over against the, uh, the other one. Slide it over against your starting hitch. Okay. And we repeat that process. Round the fingers, up through the ring, down through the loop. Pull it snug, hold it with my little finger, up through the ring, down through the loop, pull it tight, and slide it around the ring. Up through the ring, down through the loop. Catch it, up through the ring, down through the loop. And you continue that process until your ring is full. Now let's do it a couple more times. Up through the ring, down through the loop. That's half of a clove hitch. And I catch it with my little finger. Up through the ring, down through the loop. Pull it tight. And then slide it down. One more time. Up through the ring, down through the loop. Up 
through the rain, down through the loop. Right. Up through the ring. The string goes around with two fingers for spacing. Down through the loop. Up through the ring. And down through the loop. Alright. Now that's how you do it using your bare fingers. Now next, we're going to use a lap jig to do exactly the same thing. with the ring on the movable pin. Bring your string around the stationary pin, up through the ring, and down through the loop. Then hold that tight with your thumb and forefinger, with the left hand, then up through the ring, down through the loop. Pull it tight. Lift it off the peg and slide it around with the rest of them. Around the peg, up through the ring, down through the loop. Up through the ring, and down through the loop. Pull it tight. Slide it around. Lift it off. Come down around the pin up through the ring, pull off a little bit of string, and then down through the loop. Okay, pull it back and hold it so it stays where you want it, so the loop is the same. Loop don't move, and then up through the ring, and down through the loop. That's a clove hitch. Around the pin, up through the ring, down through the loop. Up through the ring, down through the loop. All right, that's easy enough. Around behind the pin, up through the ring, and down through the loop. That's half of a clove hitch. Hold it so that the length stays there, the length of the ring, of the uh, loop. And then up through the ring, and down through the loop. Pull it tight. Okay, now you keep that up until you have completely filled the ring with loops. On an inch and a half ring, that will make about 30 loops, which will easily fill a 15-inch bow.